welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. And today, it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is an early look at their brand new McFarlane Store online gold label exclusive, Jonah Hex and his horse, the General, just in case there was any confusion on who is who. Like I said, gold label exclusive, you can only get this off the McFarlane Store, and it's a huge packaging horse, Jonah Hex, and lots of accessories. This is from All Star Western, as it says on the side, and there's some glorious artwork going on on the back of the packaging. And here's the barcode, I guess just in case, but like I said, you can grab this on the McFarlane store. Now, of course, there is a platinum edition of said Jonah Hex, so later in the video, we will look at that as well. So, this is gonna be an absolute blast. Saddle up, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys online store exclusive, the gold label Jonah Hex and the General. And yeehaw! Here's everything out of the packaging. You get horse, you get Jonah Hex, and you get a bevy of weapons, including some weapons where you'd finally take a look and say, oh my god, all of Hex has frozen over. With the trading card, which does have that same artwork as is seen on the back of the packaging. Looks great. Then you have the bio, of which you can read up on this if you'd like. One thing I found out, Jonah Hex's middle name is Woodson. Well, there you go, I'm finding out new stuff every day. In terms of the accessories, you get a sword slash, I believe this would be called a cutlass. It's kind of the same sword in the Batman the Animated Series episode Showdown, and you can fight with Arcady Duval if you'd like. And that's, I just particularly like. That's a nice sword for Jonah Hex. You also get a knife, it's a rather large knife. I've seen you play Knifey Spoonie before, but hey, it's got some silver to it. It's got a white handle. He holds it really nicely, and don't worry, there is weapon storage, which I'll show you soon enough. You also get a tomahawk. Don't let that anywhere near old Jonah's face. Too late, but again, silver blade, nice handle. It's pretty well done. One caveat, though. Sometimes it fits and sometimes it doesn't, depending if you fit the other weapons in his hand, which kind of opens the hand too wide for the weapon to properly fit. With the whole shotgun, which I know, wild, right? It's decently painted. A wash would have been nice. Kind of amplify these figures a little bit more, right? It's a collector's gold label online. You bring him back the guns, kind of, sort of. Put a little bit more oomph to it. He holds it nicely, though, I will say that. And you get an alternate weapons belt for the swords and the tomahawk and everything else. The belt buckle is gold. That's nicely painted, so I'm not going to fault him for that by any means. And it just simply clips around his waist, so whether the trench coat is on or off, all of the weapons do fit nicely. I like it. That's totally cool. It's always nice when you have a figure, especially like a cowboy with all these weapons and all the weapons look great. Now, the horse itself, if I'm not mistaken, it's a horse we have seen released by McFarland Toys. If it's not, if it reused parts and pieces, so be it. I feel like it's a horse we have definitely seen in some fashion, but it is different to the Dark Knight Returns horse. And it is a nice looking all brown and black horse. Some of the buckles, some of the straps are painted. It's kind of like a go back and forth sort of deal. He's got the muzzle. The saddle itself with all the attachment pieces is nice. Now it is one piece, but you have like a blanket and you got a pouch and you got the stirrups and those all look good. I'm sure there's a water canteen in there somewhere and you turn it around and it's basically the same thing on both sides. There's nice texture to it. At least the stirrups are painted. So in that sense, it's really well done. And there's a little bit of weapon storage, which you can fit the shotgun if you'd like, which that's definitely what it's for. Or you can even go so far to include the sword. It's up to you. Underneath, you can clearly see, again, the blanket, just, I would say the movable parts, the straps and everything else, fine. You get the idea. It's a nice saddle. The tail is large, oversized to kind of compensate for the weight, as we've seen before. The horse, while it's like, okay, it's fine articulation, it's fine, it's just very mechanical in that sense, where some of the joints, some of the cuts, it's questionable, especially at the front, as you can clearly see. Now, in true 
McFarlane fashion, these don't always articulate the best. We know McFarlane toys by now. It's very much a, oh, that's awkward, or oh, that's weird. It does take a while to kind of get the horse in the right stance and have it standing appropriately because everything is just semi off or it's just it's awkwardly cut like i said in the articulation but there is a ton of articulation on the horse rest assured it's just in how it kind of stands sometime with the mobility of the legs i am happy to say for the most part jonah hex looks good and i like the scarred face i like the look that they have gone for i like that they have just given that emphasis on the scarred nature on one side and overall with the eyes, the rest of his facial features, the hair, everything is really painted nicely, including the teeth. The hat does not come off. It's all one piece. He does have the bolo on there, so that's cool to see. Overall, very happy with the head portrait in general. And of course, you'll notice that he is indeed wearing a very cool cloth goods duster. It's a very light material, I like what they've chosen for this, and believe it or not, underneath the jackets is a pair of pistols, and they are in holsters, and no joke, yes, the guns do come out. So finally, I would say technically guns have returned, but I'm going to say that, yes, he holds it well, yes, it looks good, but don't expect guns to just immediately return to the DC multiverse. It's probably going to be more in the sense of an online thing or in the collector's sense of the aisles more towards NECA and Funko, just FYI. Also, he has a really weird ring finger on both hands. It's like an almost an extra digit kind of thing going on where it's like a little snaggle finger. <laughs> that is weird. It kind of impedes putting the gun in from time to time. It's just a weird thing, but I'm happy to say that the guns look great as they are in the holsters on that particular belt. And yes, he does have knife storage in the back if you want to do that. That's all well and good. Fine, we did it. The jeans are nice. The boots are nice. They have a nice wash to them. Again, it's DC Multiverse articulation. It's not crazy, but sometimes it can be cumbersome. But if there are any weird oddities here, from afar, the jacket, the duster, looks good, right? Well, when you first get him out of the packaging, and some of the promo photos show this too, the collar to the lapel was inside the jacket. Now, you popped it out. I was surprised. I'm like, oh my God, they'll have the whole thing inside. But on mine at least, it looks like the material wasn't sewn properly. Like it should be more sewn towards the back of the jacket. And it almost looks like it was left off completely or they just didn't hit the mark. So now you kind of have all this excess material, which then, as you can see, you have all the stitching on one side. It should have been stitched shut as opposed to being draped open. I will show you more on the platinum one because there's a bit of a variance there in a way. The head articulation is totally fine. The arms move great for the most part and the jacket does not impede any of that. Now, the shirt, the waist, minus the trench coat. The trench coat really aids in hiding some of the wonk for this thing. Fine, he's got a waist, he's got abs, he's got all that kind of stuff but it sure does look odd when the jacket is off and he's got one heck of a diaper. Now, I know we joke around a lot. We say, oh, he's got a crotch pocket. Oh, he's got the diaper. Yeah, he's kind of got like a big diaper thing going on for some other odd reason. And yes, it does kind of hinder the legs. It doesn't, and we'll say thankfully, hinder the legs from getting them up and getting him onto the horse. So let out a sign of relief. It's, it's fine in that sense. It's just... I wish they could somehow change the diaper at this point to be more flexible in that sense because, like I said, you get the legs out, he does have thigh. You get his feet into the stirrups, you get him on the horse. That is a very cool looking Jonah Hex Western Cowboy on a horse. And I dig it for that. When you get the horse bucking up, rearing up, doing all that great stuff with Jonah Hex attached to the horse, it does balance fairly well. You really have to make sure it's balanced, but for the most part, yes, you can get it into that position and it does look cool. So of course, with any figure, there's always going to be nitpicks, but I would say it's really just the duster that throws me off because he holds the revolver. He holds the reins of the horse. He can even go full-blown dual-wielding double pistolas. 
and it looks cool. So yes, this figure is definitely fun, but like most DC Multiverse, when you really start to look at it, you always tend to go, ah, I really wish that would have been different. And I am happy to say that for the most part, yes, he does scale really nicely with the rest of the DC Multiverse, even though he doesn't intermingle with them too often, Batman and of course, John Stewart, I'm sorry, Hal Jordan, just to get you up to speed, they all look great together, and the horse will look good with the accompanying figures as well. And that goes with Wonder Woman, Superman, the Atom, everything and anything that's DC Multiverse. Yeah, you can totally do that. He looks good with them. Now, like I said, there is a Platinum Edition variant, which they've not gone into detail how that's going to work exactly. However, it's the same figure through and through. You might see some brighter paint, especially on the face. He has more of an orange reddish hair going on. He may have a difference in the hats in terms of the color, the jackets, the pants, the boots. So it's really just dependent on do you like one version or do you like this different colored version? Because yes, it's the same exact figure accessories. The horse is the same, but it's also a coloring difference. But one thing I did find is that on the variant, the jacket seemingly is sewn correctly. It's not perfect, but it definitely doesn't have all that loose fitting material. In terms of the general, he is now a white horse as opposed to the standard edition, which is the brown horse. And I honestly will tell you that I think the standard edition is going to be the more sought after because it's a cooler looking horse saddle. I think that Jonah Hex looks a lot better. Not to say that the white horse doesn't do it, but it just doesn't have that same oomph. The saddle is just all one color. There's not much to it. But Jonah Hex, regardless of the colors he's wearing, the blue shirt, it's a little bit more reminiscent of the old Mattel DCUC as well. So in that sense, you might want it. But yes, it is the exact same figure through and through. You might have, <laughs> at least on this one, better stitching for the coats in that sense. I know I'm not gonna say that's part of the variance of it by any means, but I would say regardless of which one you get, if in fact they're shipping them out that way, you'd be good with either of them. So that's gonna wrap it up for my early look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, Jonah Hex and his horse, The General. It's a McFarlane store online gold label exclusive. And of course, there is a Platinum Edition. Now, they haven't said too much on how the Platinum Edition will roll out. Perhaps it'll be part of their lottery system, which is just, that's their thing. Let's see. However they want to do that. But I could honestly tell you that, yes, I was one of those people who did order this figure. Originally, when this figure was unveiled, I wanted the brown coated one. I want the standard edition brown horse and to have the blue one show up, I would have been very disappointed. Now to see them both together in one sitting, I'm still gonna go with the brown horse, the standard edition. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Jonah Hex. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, no, just forget the Josh Brolin movie. And I mean, you don't have to forget Megan Fox for obvious reasons, but yeah, read the comics or watch Batman the Animated Series and you'd be better off with that infinitely for anything regarding Jonah Hex. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.